What's up guys, this is Steve for Android at Night and today what I've got for you is a tutorial on how to use custom live wallpaper. Now a lot of you guys have been asking for this so I'm going to run you through how I use custom live wallpaper and then sort of troubleshoot some of the common issues. So the first thing to talk about with this is the launcher that you should be using on your phone. Obviously this is just a live wallpaper, you need some other launcher to run it. And the one that I suggest using is Nova Launcher. There's a couple of reasons for this. Firstly, the two developers actually have started working together since I think about 2015. So they do tend to work in tandem pretty well. The other thing is that Nova Launcher is just ultimately incredibly customizable. You're going to be able to change things that you won't be able to change on a lot of other launchers which will be useful for sort of enriching the experience of using custom live wallpaper. So the first thing you need to do on Nova Launcher is create a completely clean setup. By this I mean you want to have one home screen, you want to have nothing on it, you want to have no widgets, no icons, um, just absolutely nothing, have it completely blank. Then what you want to do is go into Nova settings and back this up and save this as a blank setup. Um, I call mine blank brackets custom. This means that whatever you're rocking on Nova Launcher generally, if you want to jump over to use custom for a bit, you can literally just restore this backup and you're good to go. Once you've got this blank setup on your home screen, you want to go into live wallpapers and choose custom. If you tap the little gear icon in the top right hand corner of the screen, this will take you to the, uh, the full settings menu and this is where all the magic kind of happens. So on this screen, you've got a really nice big preview of the live wallpaper. And the cool thing about custom is that this is completely accurate to what you're going to recreate on your home screen. On the top right here, there's a little panel which will show you how many home screens you've got and which number you are currently on. Having the wrong amount of home screen set is one of the big issues when people first start using custom. A lot of these are one screen setups, but some of them will need three or five home screens. And by this, I mean you need that many empty panels in Nova Launcher. So now I'm gonna show you how you can set a new theme and how you can find themes. You want to tap the hamburger menu in the top left. This will take you to a view of all of your installed themes. And these sort of go chronologically. So the most recently installed ones will be at the top and the older ones will be at the bottom. If you swipe to the left, there is then a featured option. Um, this won't work for me now because I'm in aeroplane mode, but this will give you some featured wallpapers that you can download. And then if you scroll to the right, you've got a list of all of your exported wallpapers. Now, this is a really good way of bookmarking your favorite ones if you don't want to have to scroll through that full list of all the installed themes. It also means if you edit any elements to any of these live wallpapers, you can then export them and save that as a preset. So to show you what the setup process is like, I'm going to install a new theme. So I've chosen it here from the list and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the save button to set it. And then you get this little pop-up telling you to set the wallpaper, you run through it. I'm gonna to choose to just have it on my home screen rather than my lock screen and there you are. It is now on your home screen. As you can see, if I scroll left and right, this doesn't do anything. So I'm going to add another home screen and this will allow me to see my media player and then I'm gonna add one more and this will allow me to see the weather as well. So this is a three screen setup and as you can see, you need those three blank screens to get it to work properly. So I really like this setup, but there is a little issue. You can see when I get my media player or my weather, you can still see half of the date um, written on the home screen in that little gray pop-up. So what I'm gonna do is show you how you can edit that element to fix that. So what we're gonna do is go back into our wallpapers and go back into custom. So now I'm gonna scroll through all of the items and try and find that little date box. You can check that you're editing the right element by hitting the checkbox and it will zoom in on that specific thing. So then what we're gonna do is scroll across to position and we are going to change the Y axis slightly just to make it a little bit lower. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit save. So now if we hit save again and go back to the home screen, you can see when I scroll left and right, you can still see the top of this gray box, but the text is no longer cut in half and it looks quite neat. I think you get that sort of idea of these cards being piled. So the next thing we're going to do is change some of these shortcuts. So I never use Snapchat. So I'm gonna change that Snapchat shortcut to go to Twitter. So again, what you need to do is find that element in the items list. And then once you've found it, you want to go ahead and click on it and we are going to change the icon. So under bitmap, we're going to go and click pick image and this this will open up an image chooser. I'm gonna scroll down and go into crispy and choose an icon from the crispy icon pack. So we click that and that will then set it on your home screen. The next thing we need to do is make it so that tapping this icon will actually launch Twitter. So we're gonna scroll across to the touch option and then the top right hand corner of the screen, we're gonna hit that plus. 
and this will give us a touch element to play with. So you want to go back down to the bottom of the screen and where it says none, you want to go ahead and click on it. And this will give you a couple of different options. We just want this to launch an app. So I'm going to choose that. And then at the bottom again, click and you can choose which app you want to launch. So go ahead and click the save button and then if you head back to your home screen you can see that I've got that new shortcut. Obviously if I was using this as my everyday home screen I would probably retheme all of those icons but for the purposes of this video I think that's fine. One of the main issues people seem to have with this live wallpaper is that elements don't interact in the way you expect them to. So for example, there's a button which should take you to a social app, but it doesn't do anything. Or there's an app for a dialer that doesn't do anything. And the process of fixing that is exactly the same as what I've just showed you. You just need to choose the element that isn't interacting properly and you can change the action that that button actually triggers. The other major issue people have with custom live wallpaper is that the all apps button is a little bit janky. What you want to do is again, go to the touch option in the settings. And you want to change it so that you are launching a shortcut. And then the shortcut you want to choose is the Nova Action shortcut. And then you want to go to App Draw. As you can see, because I'm running Nougat on my 6P, this hasn't completely fixed the issue. What I tend to do and the way that I rock custom is using a gesture. So I have it set so that if I swipe up from the bottom of the screen, this will launch all of my apps in Nova Launcher. You can also do this with a double tap or sort of a twist of the fingers. This means you don't ever need to use that button. So that slightly janky part of the live wallpaper is kind of skipped over. So there you are guys, that is my real quick guide for custom live wallpaper. I don't pretend to be an absolute expert on this, I'm still learning along with you guys, but this is what I've learned from using this for a couple of months and just from my experience of it. Let me know in the comments below if you've got any more questions and I will do my best to try and answer them and solve them for you. Also let me know in the comments below if you are using custom live wallpaper, which themes you've been using. I've got a couple of videos lined up where I'm going to be showing you some of my favourite themes for custom live wallpaper. So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and that interests you. Please do like this video if you've enjoyed it. As always, you can follow me on all my social media things with the links in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.